After all the hours spent on this song, it was wasted time, wasted effort on things that did not matter. Welcome to the hard lessons learned in my almost released single, Play It Out. I'm just gonna say it. I think we should play this out. So there's a few really important takeaways that myself as a creative, because I'm usually on the production end, like my job is producing for other pop artists. So me stepping onto this side of the glass, I learned a lot of things that I think other creatives will relate to as well and get a lot of value from. So come with me on this journey. But of course, before we dive in, make sure to like this video. If you can actually follow me on Spotify, that does a ton as far as the momentum of the single when it comes out. So look at my name, John McLucas. Here's my page. Hit the follow button. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's jump in. So in pop music, especially with third choruses, I've always wanted to make sure that the third chorus has something really special in it. Not just ad libs, not just an extra shaker, but something really special. And through this song, I hadn't experienced more of a problem with a third chorus, you know, final epic moment of time than this song specifically. I've had other, had other songs where we just omitted a third chorus, but I knew that the story wasn't told yet and we had to have something and I couldn't figure it out for the life of me. I felt this obligation to go back from the bridge. I'd actually modulated keys, um, which, which uh, was actually lit, but there was this kind of weird dichotomy or I wanted to to do what was expected of me and, and go back to that like same chorus feel, but more intense than normal. But the other part of me that artistically didn't feel like that was the right call. So I struggled with this for a long time and eventually made this kind of hybrid rendition of the third chorus. So to show you what I mean really quick, here's the first chorus. I see you trying to get so close now. I feel the way you're looking good now. And then listen to what became the third chorus. And you can hear how like incredibly transformative those choruses are. And the second chorus has things in there that make it special too. So as much as I felt obligated to stick to the rules, I found a way to modulate the key, but keep the melody the same for the chorus. And it's over the bridge melody. And it's something that uh, on paper wouldn't make as much sense, but it felt right in the moment. So I just really want to encourage people when you're writing songs or working out structure and arrangement that it can be okay at times to, to let go of, of what we want from a pop song and, and, and feel favor what the story is telling. That very much apply to this, and I'm sure it could absolutely apply to something in your roster. Number two, people do not care about the technical, they care about the song. So this is exactly what happened. I finish the song up, you know, I'm a technician at my core. I'm the one who's in there in the nitty gritty doing all the detail work, and then I play it for my parents. And actually shout out my mom for getting me involved in music in the first place. Like, like my entire life would be so different. Well, I also wouldn't be alive without her, so that's kind of unfair. But she's the one who kind of came in and was like, you're gonna start music, bro. But she said it like a mom says it. And, but she, uh, <laughs> but back to the story. You know, I bring, I, of course, I'm going to bring this to my family. Like when we're hanging out, it's like, oh, what have you been up to? I'll show them stuff I've been done, uh, done with clients or just kind of talk about things going on in my business. And I also played in the song. And of course, in my head, I'm like, oh man, this key change is really cool. And uh, the, the synth, the, the additional synth in the second chorus and the way I reversed that delay and then modulated it's, it's uh, you know, here but derba. I'm getting all in the weeds with all this technical jargon and I'm really excited for them to hear it. And then at the end of it, you know, they're like, oh yeah, they, yeah, that's really catchy. Well, yeah, 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 it was, it was catchy, what else? You know, and like, yeah, no, it's a good song, good beats. And I'm just like, it was almost frustrating, but it's a reminder to myself. <laughs> like, like it was hard in that moment because I put a lot of effort into the technical execution of the song. I mean, that's my job is to be a technician and to make it perfect and beautiful, but there's an interesting dichotomy in that, right? Because my job is to be the technician and to go in and fine tune detail, to think about all the little nuances and finesse. So when somebody who who isn't a musician, isn't a technician, somebody who listens for the story and for the song is gonna listen and say, that's a beautiful song. And my mistake is sometimes coming, coming in and I came into that moment and I think artists as well can get wrapped up in the technical execution, but, but taking that step back and saying, wow, like this is a story so well told and that's what comes across more. Um, and, and, and nobody outside of, of the technical nerd community is gonna think, oh yeah, like he added that, that like snare with the reverb on it, every fourth snare hit in the chorus. And that made it a great chorus. Like 
Uh, nobody cares. I, I promise nobody cares. So for myself, letting go of that technical and remembering how just at its core important the song, the, the song, the story, the melody, the lyric, the emotion, the delivery is, and, and really the job of the technician is to do such a good job on the technical end that it's seamless and it tells the story without being in the way in a sense. And, and we can make arguments. I mean, all of this is my experience with my song. I'm, I'm already, I can just like hear the like rebutting comments of, oh, well, I watched this Billie Eilish documentary of, of this, this, and this. And it's like, um, you know, we, we could get absolutely in the weeds about different uh, songs and experiences and all this different stuff. But these these are my experiences and everything that I found through through this song and making this song. The biggest thing and, and prob probably, probably the hardest part for myself, because I take pride as a producer at my job and, and producing my own stuff, but I, number three, I guess, that was a weird segue, having outside opinions is invaluable. And as a producer, you know, you might think it's like, oh, okay, John's gonna do this himself, but I still hired somebody to help me finish this song. Uh, Andrew Simmons is an incredible producer in his own right. And one of the very few people I trust to hand things off to creatively and give him pretty much free reign to just throw a bunch of spaghetti at the wall and I'll pretty much keep 90% of it every single time. And that perspective and his additional pieces, his additional spice, his additional things that that I couldn't think of, it reminded me of, of the power of, of asking for help and hiring help and hiring somebody who can just look at it unemotionally and say like, okay, well, this is the story you want to tell. These are the things you could do to get there and absolutely transform what I wanted to get across and do it so much better and in a way that I, I would have never done. And I could have put the song, this is the thing, I could have even put the song out. I, I could have just been like, that's good enough. I'm gonna put the song out and I think it'd be good. I'm glad I didn't, but I could have done that. But with that additional five, 10% of what he brought to the table, it took everything that I wanted the song to be and it took it, you know, it was like, it was like a banger salad, like right here. And then now it's like, it's it's a banger buffet and i don't know if that analogy is is like perfect but you know like like one bowl of salad versus like a buffet of salad like that's a lot of salad but time and time again i remember that there's that that the instinct of me telling myself hey there's something i don't know what something missing in different parts of the song so we talked about it i said yeah these parts and this part and this thing and then you know and then i like i point to, i pointed out specific things um or areas or moments and descriptors yeah throwing the spaghetti like go for it too here's some notes and then but he came back with just completely notched it up and, and i couldn't be more stoked on the final product of it and that goes for a lot of other things this could go for you know lyric writing and melody this could go for the mixing this could go for working with the producer in the first place this could go with running your business. This could go with videography. There's so many different things where depending on what the priority is and, and a lot of different factors, but when you're at that sticking point, having somebody come in who's who's been down that path or who could just offer a perspective, I realized that maybe I could have gotten to that point on my own, but I would have been pulling my hair out and spending so much time doing it that giving it to somebody who could come in fresh, who doesn't care about my personal attachment to what I've put together. You know, he could just hear it and then say, okay, yeah, this needs this, bada boop, bada boop. And then, you know, Bada boop, bada boop. That that pretty much wrap, wraps it up. So that is everything that I have for you today. I want to say a massive thank you. If you took the time to like this video, follow me on Spotify, just interact with the content in any kind of way. It really does mean a lot. You know, the, the, the play on making songs and making content on YouTube is a really long one. So just you taking the time to kind of put that out there for, for me and, and to interact and show your support is actually really tremendous. And I appreciate it a ton. I'd love to keep the conversation going. There's a Facebook group you could join down in the description as well. Other than that, song drops in like 24 hours let's get it baby woo, 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 woo. wait or maybe like 36 i don't know when i'm gonna drop this but it drops on the 25th so i'll see you there peace and remember kindness wins